we don't think that it's acceptable for politicians to be leaving the Capitol where it would be illegal to exchange money, walking 50 yards to the Sutter Club or the Broiler or Chops and exchanging the money there. Today we're announcing a contest. We call it the Crashing the Dash for Cash Challenge. The person who gets into the most fundraisers without paying will get a pair of Kings tickets and you get double points if you take a picture of yourself with a politician. Hi, how are you? I'm Angela May from Channel 89 News. Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you're here today. Well, I'm a registered nurse at a hospital in Northern California. I work in, uh, I take care of cardiac and pulmonary patients, and I see up front the consequences of bad legislation and bad public policy and the ways that it affects my patients. And I'd love to be able to talk to legislators about that in the same way that lobbyists can. So what, so what are we supposed to do? How can the average citizen get into these fundraisers? It's a private club. You're not a member of the company. You have to put it on. It's We're going to head off right now to uh, Senator Migden's fundraiser. It's her birthday celebration bash. I'm sorry. Um, you, you guys were here. You guys were here yesterday. You need to call our marketing. What bothers me? What bothers me is I don't know if you noticed. Know, while we were standing there, SDG, Semper, one of the biggest energy companies in the world, walked in. There was a bumper sticker for a sticker for PG and E. You had FedEx. You had lawyers. You had. Who else was there? I mean, you had the, the Altria, the Sitch back with you. These fundraisers were not held in July when the politicians were supposed to be on break and probably had time to go fundraise. No, they're being held right now because this is the point of maximum leverage.